，你下船，那个好地方哟。This is how people cross the Yellow River right up until the turn of this century, and keeping us afloat are these sheepskin balloons. Now, where in Yingxia, what it lacks in land area, it more than makes up for with these dramatic landscapes. Cutting vertically across the region is the Yellow River, winding its way to sea. Beyond its banks, on one side, lush plains; on the other, vast deserts. In fact, this is a land bound by deserts to its north, east, and west. Deserts which have a way of shifting and swallowing all in the way. We're here to see how Ningxia has turned around this fragile environment to become an oasis in the sand. To say the Yellow River is the lifeline of the people here is no exaggeration. From childhood, is in the sandpit, looking at the ancient people's sand and the sand. The sand for us means that it's the mother's sand. 从小对它的那语言一种那个亲切感。Irrigation systems built two centuries ago have been quenching what would otherwise be plains of sand and dirt, turning the fields arable and making Ningxia a major grain producer feeding the country. But it's drying up. To heal this lifeline, a huge conservation drive. And billions poured into restoring riverside wetlands, a hefty undertaking when the arid climate is working to the contrary. Yet Ningxia has stopped its wetlands and lakes from shrinking, and you find them in the most incongruous settings. Now, this oasis wouldn't be possible without the generations of folk who fought back the dunes. In 2010, nearly 60% of the region's territory was vulnerable to desertification. Sand and wind laid waste to the land, made worse by human factors. For people like myself who live in cities, going green feels more of a lifestyle. But you realize being here that for people whose very survival depends on this land, then it's a necessity. Just ask Tang Ximing, a man who devoted the better half of his life to overcoming the sand. You like before, right? 一刮沙以后呢，到处是沙子。第二天早上起来，有些沙子把那个煤都给封了，都人都出不来了。我说呀，这个地方太可怕了，这个沙尘暴一刮，这就不适合人类居住啊。In the 50s, a new project spurred action connecting the far-flung frontiers of China. The Baotou to Lanzhou railway was vital. 60 kilometers of it ran right through the Tanga Desert. When wind blew, tracks vanished. The solution: straw checkerboards, planting wheat straws in one meter squares and sprinkling seeds, laying a giant net that fixes sand and, importantly, restores vegetation. To Tang and his team, each surviving blade of grass is worth celebrating. Six decades now and counting, on the rim of the Tanga, fresh seeds are still sown every year to reinforce the ecological barrier. Today, less of a menace, these dunes are drawing in the tourists and transforming into a profitable resource. It's an experience proudly shared with the world. 什么人来？问完你这沙能治不能治？没问题。From being pushed out by the sand to pushing back, and now finding an equilibrium. After all, what's an oasis without its desert? Jiaoyang, CGTN, from the Yellow River to the deserts of Ningxia.